going to show you how to use our jewels and pearls mould. This is from our Art Deco range. I'm going to use the vanilla or the marshmallow sugar paste in it. But if you haven't got our sugar paste, you can use other makes, but you would need to add Tylo or CMC powder to it to firm it up. Now, normally I would dust the mould with corn flour first to prevent sticking but I'm using the pearl luster because it will give a really good shine on the jewels and pearls when they are removed from the mould. So here's our sugar paste and what you do is make it smooth, roll the sausage to put into the mould so it's easier to press the paste in. So we just start at one end and push from side to side then when you get to the pearls you just press flat down into the mould so make it thinner again between each and press into the middle. Before I move along any further, I always make sure that the paste isn't going over the edge of the mould and it's level with the back of the mould as well. So just pinch narrow into that join and then flat to go into the pearls again. And then that's just finished off at the top there. To get it thin and into the mould, just push from side to side like this and down and then remove the excess paste from the end. So again, a final check before you remove the paste from the mould. Turn the mould over and just bend the mould back and the paste will release from the mould. So because the powder was in the mould already, it, that means it's pressed into the paste rather than just brushing it on afterwards. So that's why you get a really good shine. I've put no extra powder on my brush. I'm just polishing it to bring out the shine. So that can be further decorated now by painting. I'm going to paint a little bit of gold around the edges. But this can be used as a straight border. You can just straighten out the band like this to attach around the base of your cake or around the top of your cake. So I'm going to mix a little bit of gold powder colour with isopropyl alcohol. I'm using the alcohol because it paints really well and it dries very quickly. So I'll just paint one of the um, brooch, the jewel parts, to show you. You'll see the f uh, another finished one on the cake later in the video. So this is about a size, let's see, size one brush. The alcohol will dry very quickly so you do keep having to add your liquid, uh, your alcohol to to the powder as it dries out and mix the colour in the lid because then you can reuse it so and so on that that's the first one done okay if you wanted to now you could also add edible glitter um, to finish it off I'll just show you the other two pieces on the mould we've also got a little pearl drop and a smaller brooch here so these are very useful for where the the pearls join if you're putting them around the cake. So this one here we we'll just put a little bit of paste in, take the excess off, push it back in and then turn over, flex the mould and just take that out. Okay so that, that matches the pieces here on the, on the pearls uh, but it's a bit smaller. Okay so like I said it's useful for maybe the joins and then the pearl drop is this little piece here. So just put a little piece of paste in, press firmly, take the excess off and then that's ready to come out, dropped out. Sometimes you, you, you might think that your pieces are stuck but they're not because they're, they're only very small. There's no weight in them to help them drop out of the mould so sometimes they'll come out easily as long as you've got enough of your luster or your cornflower in the very small ones should drop out and on that one I would just paint those little pieces here on the edge and that that is very useful again like I said for the the joins on the cake here you can see the jewels and pearls on each of the three tiers and um, the top and bottom tier are the same just done in the curve and again you can trim the pearls on the mold to make a shorter length so you can still fit round the same amount of pieces around each tier. I've actually cut off the larger jewels underneath the pearls on the top tier and replaced them with the smaller size. 
so they, they fit in with the size of the pearls on that top tier. The middle tier has got the pearls straightened out so you get the straight straight band, the straight um, border around the bottom of the cake and I've trimmed, obviously trimmed some pearls off at the sides of each so they fit together closely. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, we've got plenty more on the website www.karendaviscakes.co.uk or visit our YouTube channel. Thank you.